The recce on the surface is a story about a special forces operator that gets declared dead behind enemy lines, wrongfully declared dead, and he has to make his way back to his grieving wife. I kreeg voorrecht om uh, Henk Viljoen te speel. En hy is een typische boerenseen wat, wat groot geboord op die Swartland, wat sy hele leven lang hierdie roeping half gehad het om, om een soldaat te wees. Wanneer hy Nicola ontmoet, wat al sy hart heel te mal steel, begin hierdie, hierdie hele journey van hoe hy vastgevang word tussen hierdie twee werelde. Aan die ene kant wil hy in die bos wees, en as hy in die bos is, wil hy by die huis wees, en as hy by die huis is, wil hy in die bos wees. Dit is juist hierdie, hierdie reis waarop Henk Viljoen nou begin een stap in termen van die twee werelde wat hom half uit mekaar uittrek. You know, it starts off successful, the mission, until he gets caught and they interrogate him. And at that point, it becomes a, a mission to survive, really, in desperation. Hy moet dan heel te mal steen op sy vaardighede en sy, sy rekkie vaardighede om te oorleef en om het terug te maak na sy familie toe. Hy is een vechter, hy is een soldaat, hy is een, hy is een rekkie. Die rekkie was een, een buitengewone soldaat. Om my rekkie bij om my operators bij te heen, moes jy dier baie gegaan het. Nicola is his wife, his high school sweetheart. She's pregnant with his child. And back then, women were kind of just forced to deal with it. We really explore that part a lot because people don't talk about that. People don't really talk about how difficult it was for the women, for the mothers, the sisters. Nicola is a very extremely strong female character that just gets a lot of pain and misery and suffering as she just she pushes through. I guess I like very thankful that 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 I can Greg saw is when on set. I mean, on set, all for in songs work. No, only a romantic sense is it now. It's not. On set, all by for in songs work. It's easy with each other. It's understand each other. I think it makes a big difference on camera. Um, so yeah, it's very nice. It's not for each other. It's not. Over the hills and far away. Oh my God! Teddy Tubbies come to play. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, don't record it. Don't record it. Nicola confides in, in Hank's mother. They find solace in one another, I suppose. Sandra is the um, the ma of the Ricky. She is the ma of Henky. And you see, now she actually from a daughter who ma type of mens ontwikkel and hierdie vrou wie sy seun die keuse maak om nie net te gaan veg nie want dis 'n landsplig jy is opgeroeg jy moes gaan maar hy besluit om 'n rekkie te word hmm. en waar haar man sukkel met hierdie ding van hoekom hoekom nog ekstra veg as dit nie nodig is nie het sy dit begryp en dit was my 'n ongelooflik dat daar so 'n sterk vrou in hierdie basiese oorlogsmovie is so MP's character is a very unique character in that he doesn't really feature that often but he has a massive impact on the story. He's the catalyst for positive change. He kind of comes in, in and out of the story, and you kind of forget about him, but then he comes back and he ties everything up. General Fasaghi, Maurice Weyers, he's a very conflicted man because he sends in men on a daily basis to die. And the only way for him to really cope with the guilt, I suppose, is by drowning his, his guilt, drinking. The fact that they were uh, on spreek. And I think it's so belangrijke in baie seer tijdperk in ons geschiedenis, want het het so verschrikkelijke effect op so veel mense gehad. En nou in die einde denk jy, baie oor hier het gegaan. Was, was het die moeite waard om so, so veel levens te vernietig? En dis wat my ge, getrek het van die karakter van generaal Visagi. Captain Nauru, played by Grant Swambi, is the moral center of the film. He feels very conflicted about the war and the responsibility he has towards his men. He's the one that sends Hank on this mission under the orders from Fasaki, Maurice Zweier's character. Once Hank goes missing, Fasaki just wants to forget about it, whereas LaRue doesn't want to give up. So he's a very interesting character, and I think he's the kind of character that most people will relate to because he really embodies the, the kind of confliction of how we perceive the war and uh, the confusion around it and how we understand it.